All right, guys, so really quickly, we're gonna make some videos addressing something potentially dangerous while we're all locked in our homes. And that is what we call forward head posture, or you might call it kyphosis or upper cross syndrome. But basically, while we're all locked in our homes, what are we doing? We are eating, <laughs> looking at our phone, watching Netflix, staring at things, like the wall and our head is creeping more and more forward every day so the human head can weigh up to 10 pounds if you're the size of me your head probably weighs 50 pounds and when you're sitting and everything is in front of you your head starts to creep forward and you start to look like this and every inch that your head comes forward puts more pounds of pressure on the muscles of the back of your neck which causes tension all the way through the front of your head, which causes wonderful things like migraines and headaches and nausea and back issues and feeling uncomfortable. So we're gonna address those things today so this does not happen to you. All right guys, so we're gonna try to do a couple things. The first thing is we're gonna try to naturally decompress the spine. So for this, all you're gonna need is a wall. You could use a door or just any wall with nothing on it. So essentially what you're gonna do, you're gonna get as close as you can to the wall. So you're gonna pretty much put your butt up against a flat wall and then you're gonna roll your feet up onto the wall and you're gonna just try to kind of shimmy yourself. So your butt is pretty much against the wall and your feet are gonna be straight up in the air. So once you're in this position, you're gonna try to touch your big toes together but you're not gonna bring your heels together. You're gonna separate your heels so your hips kind of internally rotate a little bit so your toes are touching. And you're gonna try to keep your hips as close as you possibly can to the wall and your legs are gonna stay as straight as possible. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna open your hands and reach them up towards the ceiling and then start to push them over your head. So like I said, what this is gonna do is just naturally decompress the spine. So we're gonna try to open up some space and then once you're in this position, you're gonna to try to do some breathing, which is gonna be breathe in for four seconds. Then you're gonna hold your breath for four seconds and then blow out for four seconds. So you're gonna to try to keep your legs up, legs nice and straight, toes touching, arms overhead, and then just breathe nice and easy. And you should feel a good stretch down your hamstrings, maybe into the low back. And you're just going to hang out here for like one to two minutes and this should really feel pretty good. All right, guys. So what we're going to do second, after you've been on the wall and decompressed your back a little bit, we're going to try to stretch out your hip flexors and open up the whole front side of your hips. So we're going to stretch using your bed. Okay. So I'll, I'll show you from this angle here. So what you're going to do is leave one leg on the floor and the rest of your body is gonna get nice and comfortable on your bed. Okay, so this leg's gonna be on the floor. Your knee could be bent a little bit, that's okay. It's gonna kind of hang off to the side. The rest of your body is gonna go onto the bed. Okay, with the same side as the leg on the top, you're gonna reach back with that arm. Okay, grab that leg and just let your head rest onto your arm. Okay, and just get into a position that you could hold and breathe normally and just kind of relax into this stretch and you should feel it right through the quad into the hip and you're just going to stay here for like a minute on each side so after this side you'd get up and turn around and just spend about a minute opening up the hips all right guys so what we're going to do third is try to open up kind of the abdomen and the chest and the whole front side of your top half so we're going to use your bed again um, so what you're going to do here is basically sit on the edge of your bed and you wanna lie back so that hopefully your heels are just a little bit elevated off the floor and you could just lie back. And what you're gonna do is open up your hands and put them off to the side so that your chest and your biceps open up. And then your feet are just gonna hang down and you're just gonna push your heels into the ground while pushing your arms apart and kind of pulling your arms back into the bed so that your hips and your stomach and your chest and your biceps just kind of rest back and you're gonna kind of look up a little bit to just reverse that closed posture that you would have when you're sitting down watching TV. And you're just gonna hang here, I mean, as long as you want, <laughs> five minutes, two hours, 
and just start to let all that whole front side open up a little bit. All right, guys, so final thing we're gonna do is get into this position on your bed. Um, so same concept as what we just did. You wanna get in like a reverse posture of this kyphotic, you know, forward head closed off posture. Um, so if you lie on your stomach, you could actually just, you know, if you feel a stretch, you could hang out like this. So you could just be on your elbows with your chin up and your chest up, kind of squeezing your glutes a little bit with your legs nice and straight. And you could just hang out like this and just kind of breathe. And if you're able to, if you don't feel any compression on your spine here, you could just kind of bring your hands alongside and just press your chest up and look up and just spend about a minute just taking some nice deep breaths just in this position right here. And if you feel like you need a break, you can just come back down to your elbows, take a few breaths and then come back up and press up and look up nice and easy and just hang out here. And then before we finish up, we're just gonna throw in one kind of static exercise that you could also do to just kind of you know, activate some muscles on the backside of your body in just a nice standing posture. So what you're gonna do is stand flush against the wall. You want your heels to be against the wall. You want your butt to be against the wall. And then pretty much your shoulder blades and the back of your head. So what you're gonna do is open up your hands, so palms to the ceiling and bend your elbows about 90 degrees. Okay, heels and head and butt against the wall. And you're just gonna push your elbows back into the wall a little bit. And then when your, your glutes are engaged, you got kind of your middle back engaged, driving your elbows back, and your head should still stay against the wall, so you shouldn't let it creep forward as you drive your elbows back. And then once you're in this kind of static hold position, you're gonna keep your head against the wall, but you're just gonna turn it to the side. So you're just gonna pull one side open a little bit. And remember, heels, elbows, butt, head against the wall. Couple breaths. Come back to the center, keep squeezing the elbows back and just pull your head the other way and keep your core engaged and keep driving the elbows back into the wall. But as you do, keep your head against the wall and just let the neck kind of decompress a little bit there and then just relax. So if you do those things, so you decompress the spine, you know, with your feet up against the wall, open up the hip flexors, open up the abdomen, you know, get the head in that reverse posture, warm up some muscles on your backside, and you can start to reduce the effect of the, you know, this posture that we're all getting from just hanging out in our homes all day. So everybody stay safe, and thank you.